As the clock ticks down to Sunday's make-or-break EU summit on Greece, the government in Athens has sent its final request for a third financial aid package to its creditors. I'm here to discuss what happens next with the FT's chief political commentator, Philip Stevens. Philip, what's going to determine whether we will finally get a deal or not? Well, I think what we've seen in the last 24 hours is a definite change of mood. The Greek government has finally submitted a proposal for a new three-year package to keep Greece on the road. And there's a mood abroad that this is, may, not well, may well not be the answer, but it's the beginning of the answer. So whereas the betting when EU leaders met earlier this week was that we'd see Greece leaving the euro by the end of the week, or certainly by Sunday when leaders will, will gather again in Brussels, I think the mood now is to put it bluntly, uh, Cyprus, the um, Greek Prime Minister, has folded. He's committed to do a lot of the things he said he would never do, and there are, there are the beginnings of the deal. But there's a lot of politics in this yet, in Athens and also in Berlin. Well, this is a problem, right? It has to be sold both to the creditors and to the Greeks. One might think that on the creditor side they should be more amenable now because there's been pretty much a total capitulation on the Greek side. Do you agree with that? Well, I think um, most of the creditors, most, will now take the view, look, if we think this is a serious offer, um, we, we should certainly negotiate on, on that basis and certainly we shouldn't allow the Greek banking system to collapse next week and to see uh, Greece driven out of the euro uh, in the next weeks or so. The problem is, is the complete absence of trust yes. on one yes. side. The, what's happened in the past few weeks and months has destroyed any trust. So there are people in Berlin, but also in Helsinki uh, and elsewhere saying, look, can we believe these people when they say they'll do it? So I think um, the government in Greece is going to have to start legislating some of these changes pretty quickly. I think also there are some people in Berlin who came to the view that actually the euro would be better off without Greece. I think trust, it's a word we've been hearing a lot, that, that seems key. At the same time, you've seen movement, I think, among some of the creditors. The French have finally come out swinging a bit, standing a bit apart from Germany, more than they've done in much of the crisis, and apparently even gone down to Athens to help draft the proposal and so on. The IMF, of course, came out during the referendum week with an explicit call for debt restructuring. So there's, there's interesting movement on the creditor side as well. But what about the Greeks? Tsipras called a referendum. He campaigned for a no. He got an overwhelming no. He's now making a proposal that is probably even harsher in terms of conditions on the Greeks than the one he campaigned against. How on earth does he sell this at home? Well, it's going to be very hard. I mean, I think, you know, the referendum in retrospect doesn't look like the smartest move. One can only suppose that he thought that the Eurozone, if you like, the, the creditors would fold. Um, his government has always said, look, Europe's got more to lose than Greece has to lose from a Grexit. So I think he basically miscalculated. I think now he'll lose a large proportion of his own party in trying to push this deal through. And I think in coming weeks, at, le at least, we're going to have to think about whether there will be some reconfiguration of Greek politics and perhaps another form of coalition. Of course, what the creditors would like is basically for some of the old, from some of the, 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 the old parties, PASOK or New Democracy, to be brought back in uh, to the Greek government. But I think everything will be very fluid, but, but Mr. Zipras isn't going to have an easy time, that's for sure. That's for sure. And of course, it's not just about striking a deal, but then implementing some of the conditions later, some of which, of course, go right against the program that, uh, that Syriza were campaigning on. Yeah. So there, there is still, it seems, a lot to play for. It'll be an exciting and nerve-wracking couple of days. I'm sure we'll be back here soon enough to discuss this again. Thank you, Philip. Yeah.